we have a lot going on in Cocoa Beach. We, uh, we actually um, have our new parking garage, which will be soft open May 22nd. So two parking studies, 48 workshops, uh, four years of talking about it. We finally got there. Um, that's tell what my biggest frustration is with government. Things move slow. I'm from the private sector. I just like to make decisions and do things. Um, why do we do that? Well, we saw downtown um, had a proliferation of what I call warehouse industrial users on A1A. Makes no sense. As a commercial banker, A1A shouldn't be a warehouse, a plumbing store. It should be a restaurant, a retail. It shouldn't be that. Why? Because we're a barrier island. We don't have any land. So for every stable you have, the zoning requirement is you have to have two parking spaces. Where are you going to put it? It's a barrier island. So we got rid of all those zoning requirements for our downtown. What's happened is an organic growth, and we have 38 restaurants in our downtown. You could eat at a different restaurant every day of the week, every day, every month, and it would be something totally different and unique. So we're obviously turning into a foodie place, which, hell, I'm not missing out. <laughs> <clears throat> Although we were voted the most fit city in Brevard County two years in a row, uh, because surfing counts, so I got that in. Um, so the new parking garage, 241 spaces, two electric vehicle stations, showers, bathrooms. And a parking garage? <laughs> yes, sir. We're across from the ocean. We have two and a half million visitors that come to our beaches every year, and um, we need to take care of them. So also, if I could ask our state legislative uh, folks to please consider allowing us to use some of the TDC money for public safety. It's a strain on a small community to have this many public safety officials. Um, and we generate roughly 50% of that bed tax revenue, by the way. So what's happened is now the properties that went were rented for $6 a square foot are now renting for $16, $18 a square foot. So when you have a warehouse user and you convert it to a restaurant, it's a lot more valuable property. So our, it's on our CRA, the, the parking garage is actually a CRA project. It's our only CRA project. It impacts the property values around the community. So. We're seeing this throughout the entire city. So that's the windfall for the county. You're seeing market rents go from, again, 12 to 16, $18 a square foot. And there's no homestead on commercial properties, by the way. It's not like residential. We also have a new police station that's gonna get built. So we're just tackling a lot of our old infrastructure. Um, final bids are due the 24th. We've allocated eight and a half million dollars for that. Um, we also have uh, a lot going on we just completed uh, our streetscape on Minutemen. Um, that also helped our initial investment for, uh, we have people actually looking at us now. We have uh, the hospital property, Health First, sold on 520 for four and a half million. That's an eight acre project. It'll be, uh, they're looking at waterfront uses. There'll be uh, potentially a hotel, some restaurants. Gotta take advantage of the water. We're surrounded by water. and We have very few places you can take a boat to. Um, in case you didn't know, we just happened to time tonight. We have the boat races this weekend. There'll be a big party downtown uh, in Cocoa Beach. You guys are welcome to come. Well. <laughs> Sheriff, you're welcome to come. There'll be no shortage of horsepower there. Um, lots to see, lots to do. And uh, the race is actually going to be Sunday and uh, be from Lori Wilson Park to Coconuts. I'm sure that place will be jammed. And uh, lastly, if you're not aware, we obviously have a close relationship to the Space Coast. July 13th is the 50th anniversary of the Apollo landing. There'll be a parade down A1A. It'll be pretty cool. All the astronauts will be lined up in Corvettes of their era. It'll be a really cool once in a lifetime thing and we hope to invite all of you there. Our parking garage will be open for business. So thank you. Thank you, Mark. Oh, no.